Right, now we um, have thought a bit, little bit about how we, why we make videos. What we're going to do now is, well, this morning basically we're going to take you through the process of, of making a little video um, so that you can go on in the afternoon and make your own. And the first thing you need to do when you, have, when you make a video is have an idea. So all of you guys have written me proposals, most of you have written me proposals and sent me proposals. So you've come up, you've done the first thing, you've come up with an idea. Um, <coughs> and once you've come up with an idea, what I like to tell people is, please interrogate this idea. Now, one of the things you need to interrogate is something that Russ just brought up. Can you hear me, by the way? Am I talking loud enough? Put it small room, you don't want to talk too loud. <laughs> one of the things you need to do is ask yourself, you know, do I really need to make a video? Um, video takes a lot of time and effort and maybe you can achieve the same results, the results that you want, without making a video. So that's the first thing I want you to ask yourself. Um, right, what we're going to do now is I'm going to come up with an idea of a video that we're going to make this morning, just in our shooting exercises, in our scripting exercise. And the idea is, just plucking out, out, out of the thin air, no, we're going to make a video about the workshop. We're going to make something about what's going on now. So that's our idea. Um, we don't need to interrogate it because we're going to have to do it. <laughs> so, oh, is it worth making a video? Uh, I guess we have to do it because, yeah. So once you've had a think, oh, is it, do we really have to make this video? Well, we have to because of the exercise. You start thinking about a few, a few other things. Um, and I'm going to go and get my notes. Where are they going? Over here. So. We're going to make a video about this workshop, what's going on in this workshop. Um, the second stage of interrogation is, what's the purpose of the video? So all of you are thinking, I want to make a video. And it's not just, oh, it's so cool because I, I, I want to make a video just because it's cool or it's interesting or it's fun. All of you have learning outcomes to reach, right? All of you want, want to make this video and put this effort in, in your busy schedules, because you want to do something with the video. So. What's the purpose of um, this video we want to make today about the workshop? What would the purpose be? To promote the workshop. To promote the workshop, yeah. And it would also be useful for future workshops as yeah. well, if you run yeah. as an example. Yeah. It's kind of just information in a way, isn't it? It's, um, it's a record, like a documentary maybe, a mini documentary. So that's the purpose, it's to share information um, and promote, maybe promote the workshop. So with that in mind, what kind of video is it going to be? Manon? Um, introducing the key players that are holding the workshop and, and who's going there to pre prepare for it. Yeah, so that's the content of, of the video. So we're starting to think about, we're starting to think about content and, and um, what kind of video it's going to be. Um, what kind of style do you think it's going to take? Can we give it a style? It's important to think about these things because... Action. Yeah, make it an action movie. <laughs> <laughs> we could make it an action movie. It's slightly it's difficult. It's quite a relaxing environment. Mm -hmm. So we We would say, you know, interlinking of things and yeah. ideas. And yeah. But it is really, like, it's not very formal, is it? It's sort of, you know, we're... It's not formal. You can ask questions sort of, yeah, anytime. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, sort of, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking okay. about, the style and the genre. Genre is kind of like a documentary, maybe like a news report, something like that. So we've kind of got a vague idea. That really helps, you know, to think about what kind of format it's going to take, what kind of video it is a genre, because then you can just follow that genre, you know. It's like when you write a poem. If you've got, if you've got rules to follow, it's easier to write, isn't it? Um, so let's, let's do something newsy, some, a news report, OK? Um, a news report or a documentary, what's it going to include? What's the content? We've already thought a little bit about the content. Um, we're going to introduce some people. Like press, press releases, like where time, place, you know, sort out the, the key elements. Yeah, so who, who, where, when. Yeah, kind of that's what you need to do in a, in a, news, <laughs> in a news report. Oh, here's some pretty pictures. Um, 
what kind of things are we going to cover there? What are we actually going to film? So you'll be filming us doing the exercises, mm -hmm. um, getting us to talk about what we're learning, yep. what we're, how we're hoping to How use. are we going to get you to talk about that? Um, you'd have to ask us some questions. Yeah, interviews? Mm -hmm. Okay, so can I have a pen? Yeah. I'm going to reach over you, Alan. So we're going to have interviews. Um, and we're going to have some action shots of stuff, the, the exercises. Action. It is going to be an action movie. Action shots. Could, 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 just, could, could we not have an introduction right at the start? You know, this is going to be, you know. Who's going to give the introduction? You, yeah, one of us, you know, whatever. You know. Yeah? The presenter? Yeah, present, yeah. Yeah, present, yeah. yeah, yeah, present. Yeah. okay. Yeah. So we could do it with a voiceover, maybe, or we could do, like, if it's newsy, um, or some documentaries have a presenter on screen um, speaking to camera, which is different from an interview, and we'll show you why. Um, you probably can work it out yourself. But <laughs> so, present, should we have a presenter in there? Yeah, Say. It might, it might be better with just a, the, the, with a narrative like over the top. So yeah, you could have a voiceover. Mm, so, mm. rather than someone actually presenting it so formally, have just the voice introducing it. Mm. Yeah, presenter could be very informal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can mix both. Yeah, you can mix both. One of the problems with um, a voiceover or a narration, um, for today anyway, is usually it happens in the editing stage. So you would you'd go with an idea of what you're going to film, um, but you would write the voiceover and record the voiceover when you've got all the footage and you kind of have a clearer idea of what actually the story's going to be. So with, with anything like that that's you're filming something that's live and happening, you don't necessarily know exactly what's going to happen or what you're going to get. So you write a voiceover or a narration later on. Um, so what we're going to... And so we're not going to cover voiceovers in this workshop, but we will have a look at presenting. Um, and presenting can be quite formal, but it can also be very informal, and it also gives a kind of a friendly face to a story, if that's what you want. And I know a lot of you, if you're doing academic videos or educational media, as teachers, will put yourself in front of the camera. So I think it's quite good to, to practice that as well. I was thinking on this Vimeo video school. Have, have you ever seen this? Yeah. 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 There is always a presenter, and they are very funny normally. Yeah, do you like those videos? Yeah. Yeah, they, they, try, and be, they try and make it funny. <laughs> Yeah, it's one of the um, places you can go if you want to learn a bit more about, about video making is a vid video, Vimeo film school or video school. I don't know what they call it. Um, okay, another thing you want to think about. So we thought about the genre, what kind of thing it's going to be. We thought about the kind of content that we want to cover, um, the things that we want, the elements that we want to include in this, in this little script, in this little video that we're going to make. Um, oh, it's going to be a news report or a documentary, isn't it? Just write these things down. News report. Can't really reach. Doc. Oh. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Russ. <laughs> um, how long? <laughs> how long do you think it's going to be? That's another thing you need to think about right at the beginning because that really regulates what you're going to film. I mean, don't want to go and film 40 hours of footage for a two-minute film. How long do you think? Five minutes? Five minutes, yeah. That would be actually very long for a news report, but for a documentary it would be okay. You won. <laughs> so a minute then. A minute? Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. In so quite end, short. So uh, if it's for the internet, it should be very, very short. No? Yes. <laughs> so how about one, two, two minutes, something like that, yeah? Um, it is true that they say that, it is true that lots of, studies have been made into the ultimate length of a, of a YouTube video, not just a YouTube, but an online video. Um, and they've said different things, um, two minutes, four minutes, six minutes, you know. It depends who your audience is, I think. I don't think there's a definitive answer. You could say shorter the better, but, and people's attention spans have reduced. But once they've watched the first 10 seconds, They'll watch till the end if it's good. If you don't catch them, they won't. And if they have to watch it, <laughs> they 
I probably will. <laughs> um, John, were you going to say something? No? No, no, no. no. Okay, cool. No, no. Um, right, so how long? And what kind of elements? We've, we've thought about all of these things. These are all things that I want you to think about when you've come up with your idea before you start writing a script. And I'm going to give you all um, a document I put together, which is like called a project development document, which kind of goes through these steps, what you should be thinking about um, before you go on and, and write a script, because this pre-production stage is really important to getting it right when you're shooting and when you're editing. Um, OK, so we wanted some interviews. Who are we going to interview in this setup, in this little um, video? Who, who do we need to interview to cover our story? You. Us. Awesome. You and us. <laughs> That's OK. So one of, the, one of the people running the workshop and one of the people taking the workshop. Two interviews? OK. Excuse me. Um, so uh, an attendee for want of another word, and a okay. And we'll go on and we'll write questions for both of these people um, once we've got an idea of what we want them to say, because that's important. <laughs> um, OK, so we've thought about what kind of thing it's going to be, what content we want, how long it's going to be. Um, how are we going to make it? What equipment are we going to use? It would be good to use a recording device. Because <laughs> 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 but that, I, I guess you mean an audio recorder, is it? Or any kind of <laughs> a <f> camera? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've got what we're going to use today is, are the Legrias, um, which you'll already have seen, hopefully. And we're also going to introduce you to audio recorders and recording sound onto a separate device. Um, if it is important to think, what, what can I use um, to get the best results? What, what am I able to use and what's available to me are things you should consider. But in this case, I wouldn't necessarily choose the Legrias to shoot with. Um, but it is what's available, so no choice. <laughs> but ha having a think about what equipment you use and how you're going to do it is part of your planning process. Right. Another thing you'll do before you actually go on and write your script, these are nice pictures, aren't they? Um, and I'm not going to go into it, but you really need to do some research. So especially if it's a big project, um, or even just a short video. We went um, to a conference, was it last year or was it earlier this year? No. Yeah, it was, it was earlier this year. And um, we were tasked with making a video in a day, basically, um, just to just interviewing some of the people at the conference and getting a kind of like a, a voice of the conference, something like that. And so, it, you know, it doesn't sound too big, does it? It really wasn't too big a deal, but we put in some research to have a look at, we wanted to do something a little bit more creative, maybe, a little bit more interesting than just blah, 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 blah. So we tried to, <laughs> and we went and we researched what kind of, what kind of creativity we put in there, what kind of titles are we going to use? Um, has anyone made something like this that's interesting that we can copy? Um, that's part of your research, and it does pay off, it really does. Of course, another part of your research is the academic side of it, the subject matter. What content are you going to include, and how am I going to talk about that? Um, so research. Um, another thing is to think about your distribution right at the beginning. Um, distribution could take up a whole workshop. <laughs> um, it's, it's quite a big deal, we're not going to go into it too much. But how do you get your video out there? How do you get people watching it? Um, reaching the right people is, is something you should consider right at the beginning because it affects everything else. It affects the length, for instance, of the video, um, as we just discussed. You know, uh, Some people have very short attention spans. Is that the people you want to reach? Right, make a very short video then. So it's, um, that's what distribution is, is all about. And you also need to think about your team. Who's going to help you? Is it just going to be you? Is it going to be a group of people? What roles is, is everyone going to have? Um, we're doing a co cooperation with um, an academic in Glyndur, Glyndur University, and uh, originally it was just him, and that was fine, it wasn't complicated. And then he decided to make it video by committee and brought on like 10 other people. Um, and I was like, what roles is everyone going to take? Let's, let's. And it just in, dissolved into no one's going to do anything. 
because there's too many people involved. So you really have to choose your team carefully and make sure you, everyone knows what they're doing and don't lose control of it. OK, let's write a script. We thought about all of these things. Um, maybe we've even, if it's a complicated video, written a synopsis, like a, a page long kind of content, detailed content. Um, a filmmaker, a video maker would do these things, would do all of these things um, before they go and start the creative part, which is writing the script. Now, we've got a script template. I think I've got a script template. Let's see if it comes up. I'm probably on dual screen, aren't I? Yeah. So this is a script template. You've got one in your packs. Um, the reason it's laid out like this is to help you think visually. Because a lot of people, especially if you're involved in academia, think in words. I think in words. That's how I structure my story, how I create my story. Um, and a lot of stories are created in that way, uh, especially if you've got interviews or voiceovers or presenters speaking. You use words, but you need pictures too. So if you're forced to fill out the action on screen side of it, it helps you to uh, think about those pictures. And um, it's really important because they tell more than half of your story. So you've got to think, how are these going to interact with the words? How are the pictures going to interact with the words to tell my story, to bring it forward? If you think about Hans Rosling and all the, the way that the images helped, it wasn't just the graphics. It was everything else. Um, so you can, um, oh yeah, and each of these is going to be a shot, one shot. Um, and when you watch a film, sometimes you might not notice what a shot is. Um, but, you know, um, we'll find out as we go through the day. <laughs> I'm sure you can work it out. But um, each shot, you can make it longer than this. I'll send you a digital copy so it's um, changeable. Um, but what we're going to do now is write the script in here for the little film that we're going to make, um, which is the Breaking the Barriers. Workshop, um, report, something like that. <laughs> right, so we've got an idea of what we're going to, um, what we're going to do, what we're going to film. We're going to have a presenter. We're going to have some interviews. We're going to shoot some of the things going on in the workshop. It's kind of an introductory thing. What's going to happen at the beginning? Have a title or something. You could have a title. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. If it was a documentary, you'd probably have a title. Um, a news report, you wouldn't have a title. You'd just cut straight to a presenter talking. Um, we could we could have some kind of title giving us a place, couldn't we? Um, what's the shot going to be? What would the first shot be? Even in e each scenario, with a title or a presenter. Be within this room, yeah. We could. The classic would be the show of College on the Hill. Yes. Which would be more most engaging? The shot inside the room here, or a shot in where? What did you say? On the hill. Yeah. Showing the college. Yeah. yeah. Inside. Okay. It depends if you want to talk about, you know, it being part of the great future or blah, blah, blah. You know, then the shot from the hill will tie in with what you're saying. What is that shot from the hill? Is it... Um, well, I was thinking of the, the main arts college at the top of the hill to put in context. You have Bangor University. Here's yeah. the picture, and that's it. We say, good morning. Here we are, this wonderful sight here. Looking. <laughs> I, think, I think establishing place is really important. Um, I think that you would need a shot to, that establishes place and hopefully it's quite an engaging shot that says here we are um, and it's a good way to start. Um, should we have a shot of Bangor University? Cam we might not get up the hill today but something. Okay so um, a shot of, um, of Bangor University outside. I'd like a shot where it comes in from, the, from space. 
<laughs> Through the atmosphere. Can you do that? Can you do that in an hour? No. Computer <laughs> animation. Talk to Matt. He might be able to. Yeah. <laughs> Here's one I did earlier. Yeah, that's true. Not that's um, a and shot of. And then from there, could we could we then go in inside here then? Yeah, but we need to lead transitional, inside. Transitional. Yeah. So what we could do is we could have the presenter outside. And the presenter could lead us inside. Mm. These linking shots are really, I find, really important. People often leave them out, especially when you start out making videos, you leave out linking shots. So you might think, ah, oh, that um, cooking is really important and that dinner is really important, but I'm not going to show the link between the cooking and the dinner, the taking of the plates to the table, that just, just make it flow a little bit more. Those are the linking shots I'm talking about. In this case, we can have... We could have someone, um, we could have the presenter walking in. So are we going to have the presenter out here, outside here? Yeah. Yeah? So shot of Banga with the presenter? Attendee. An, an attendee? Yeah. Oh, that's a new idea. So what's going to happen? I think um, just to uh, go from us. <laughs> walking in? Yes, yes. Walking into the door, going to do something? So the, the library, yeah. So we can put one shot here. We first get the main ones. That's the, I think that's for the Bangor University. And then we put another shot for all of us um, just to walk in through the library door. <laughs> I'm thinking. That would be good. I don't know if we're going to be able to get all of us. Um, because we're going to all be doing different shooting exercises, but maybe we can act that out in one of the exercises, having the students walk into the classroom. Where's the presenter, though? But, well, because they could they not say something. I'm off to the course or something. You know. Yeah, you could. Mm -hmm. um, let's think. A student saying, "I'm off to do this course." course. Yes. Then, then really, that student or the attendee becomes the presenter, in a way, doesn't he or she? there should be something about you saying we've come from Aberystwyth today to run this workshop in Bangor and introducing it S a bit like that. We could do that. Yeah. Are we, should we just get rid of the presenter and just have a student leading it? Unless you do um, we could a do that. wacky version where the presenter is actually being video camera so you, you track the presenter. So we, I'm going to follow this video workshop. Yeah. So you know, you get a tracking shot of the presenter going in on the video, so you're going straight into the link about it being a video course. Mm. Mm. But that's complicated. A tracking... Sh a tra a sh uh it's about the video course as well, isn't it? So you, you're not dwelling on the place too much. Mm. You're establishing that I'm here to... We, we, we do want to establish that we're here yeah. in Bangor. Yeah. But, you know, you're talking about I'm going to go and see what this video course is all about, yeah? Yeah. Um, and the attendee here, you know, um, or it could be... One or maybe there's an attendee walking past as he's saying, look, I'm the presenter, we're going to attend this really cool... Co I'm going to do this really cool, amazing course by Cadon, and then the, atten the people walk past and you go, oh, there they are, and you walk with them. Is that what you mean? No. <laughs> I think it was meant to be more like a re reporting of the workshop, so someone... Just so, um, so you could be introducing the person, one of the people who's holding the course as well, right? You're here at Bangor, holding this video course today, it's this lady, Lizzie, right, whatever, um, and she's holding the video camera. So, you know, we're going to start as we mean, mean to go on, you know, and um, she's going to track me into the room. It's, just, it's more visually funny, so you arrive there and you, you, you spot, it's more like, so the presenter's there talking, and then they s the, the the presenter spots a, an exercise going on. Is that what you mean? No, no I don't no. get it. I, <laughs> I no, don't get I it yet. Know, but visually, I can see it. I need to sit down. <laughs> okay. And really, put it step by step because obviously nobody else is picking up quite. But I'm, 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 I'm. You understand? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Really? Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm being tense. I'm <laughs> thinking about that. Can we go back to the, the idea of starting with an attendee? Because then if an attendee is, is making the very first introduction, we can kind of follow them through the whole day. And, and that um, makes them a present that makes them the presenter though. 
Yeah, even it, it does make them the presenter, so that they are they are the one who's leading the leading the way and saying this is what's going on and, and basically narrating the whole experience, right? Yeah. But that attendee, though, of the students that sing on, would come down, yeah, here, and uh, that, that came, like I did this morning, yes, and uh, that uh, I said, good morning to you, yes, mm -hmm. and then you could introduce yourself, and everybody could sort of say, hello, everybody, you know, and, uh, <laughs> you know, so we're just going to have a bit of fun, <laughs> like, you know, and then start filming in here. Yep. Cool. So, um, what are the shots going to be? This is this is video by committee as well. So it's a bit. It's a bit we're going to start with a shot of Banger. Um, it might be a shot that we could pan to something. So somewhere that sets the place, and then maybe there's someone in shot already. Who's going? What's happening in that first shot? Anyone want to make a decision? Oh, we're going to need some sort of a narrative right from the very start, aren't we? You were saying that the first ten seconds is what gets people interested. In. Yeah. Yeah. So if we start off with a blank shot with nobody even talking, then so we're already starting to lose yeah. people. Here. Do you want to have someone right there in the shot, uh, right at the beginning, but it's still setting the place? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, couldn't you go back to like Manon's idea, like to pull out and actually see them filming? Yeah. So they establish that they're filming and it's about. Yeah. So we've got a camera crew with them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah I, think, I think that's good. Yeah, right. idea. <laughs> that's, 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 that's good, that, yeah. That's so. Yeah. Because it's about making video, so you're showing somebody making a video from the first shot. Um, okay, so the first shot is someone outside in Bang University making, doing an exercise, making a video. Mm. And then what happened? Okay. Um, so, shot of... Shot outside... Mm. Yeah, because if it's only a one or two minute video, it needs to be pretty snappy, doesn't it? Um, Shot outside at Bangor Uni of someone doing an exercise, of a group doing an exercise. Then what happens? Is there a, what, is there a presenter? Someone comes out from the group? Uh, yeah. We could talk about what we're shooting and the, and the different topic. Like, so how many groups are there going to be today? Three shooting Three. groups, yeah. So exercise. it could be like an interview with someone from each group just saying what Okay. Um, at the moment, we've got a shot of a group. Mm -hmm. We need some kind of entree to that group. We could have a presenter in front, say maybe a bunch of the group, and that's saying this is what all this is about. We could have a presenter who's in, who's like the new the reporter, or we could have one of the attendees be the presenter. Which one do you want? Suppose you have an attendee being filmed. Yeah. So the attendee is actually talking to that camera as though they are the ones doing filming. But we're, we're shooting that going on from slightly further back. Can't the presenter interview some other people? Yes, yeah, so you want yeah. a presenter in shot. So the presenter is the reporter. OK, so we are going to have a presenter who's the reporter in this news report, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shall they be, shall they? Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting confused. OK, so let's just. We got. We can start outside at Bang University, shooting group of people doing an exercise. Cool. As long as it's not rainy. <laughs> Hopefully, it won't get too windy and rainy later today. But you never know because we've got Abigail, haven't we? Um, should we have a pan to the presenter who's standing next to it, or should the presenter walk up to the group and? Couldn't it not cut to the other. If you're showing them being filmed. Yeah. And the title is making videos, and then it cuts to the actual primary camera, which is interviewing the presenter, and then they're explaining where from the, the workshop. Yeah. Um, yeah, I get, I get it. Okay, so we've got, we've got a shot outside of the presenter, and then we cut straight to a presenter in the same place? It could be, couldn't it? Yeah. Can we just pan to the presenter, or the presenter walks into the shot? Same shot? Yeah. Zoom in, I think, for the presenter. Yes. Zoom in. Yeah, usually uh, we. I, I'm not uh, actually making video, but I'm doing video analysis. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think if you get a time for the uh, groups, and then you give a room in to the presenter. So. Where's the presenter standing? Uh, I think it's better in the middle of the group. So. It, the yeah. presenter's involved. In other words, yeah, yeah. an attendee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. How about we just do this? We have someone who is attending 
the exercise be the presenter. So we've got a shot of the group doing an exercise. One of the people turns, don't use zooms, they look bad. They really look bad. If, you're gonna, if, you're gonna, if you want to do that, cut to another shot that's closer up. That's what I would advise. Oh, okay. um, so we've got a wide. This is introducing you to shot, to shot lengths as well. We've got a wide of the exercise. Then you cut in, and one of the people in the exercise turns around and said, hi, my name is. Can we do that? OK, cool. So let's make this a wide. We've got to get some shots in before the end. In the next 10 minutes, OK, so a close-up of the group, presenter, attendee, who's an attendee, turns around and says and introduces the, um, introduces the video, OK? What do they say? I'm going to write what they say here. What could, could that Can you all see? Attend attendee presenter be holding the camera Legria, yeah. And so, say, Rob, I'm going to be attending this course, right, using this camera. First thing I've learned is, like, you know, you could do is how to track. Do you know what I mean? And then, so I'm going to walk you into now and meet all the people that, you know... The tracking shot, yeah. So, it's actually talking. You know, you could switch. You know, I'm actually going to be using this... I'm at this course using this camera to do videos. Yeah. One thing that the camera is good, that you've picked up, man, and I think is that it's very good for that kind of handheld self selfie filming, which you could do, which is a really good thing to do with that camera. Say, so, all right, I'm going to take you in to see what's going on in the main... That's what I meant, you know, yeah. it's not boring. It's like immediately you're into video mode of mm -hmm. moving. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, and the piece of the camera is very informal. Yeah, chat. let's make it informal. And then you just meet people. In the okay, but what are they going to say first of all? We need to have some words. Hello, my name is. How about that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Hello, my name is uh, Russ. It won't be Russ. Um, um, you can change whoever is being the presenter attendee will change this according to what they want to say, but this is a vague idea of what you want to say. I'm here in Bangor University, or something like that, to, to attend a, 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 a CADAM workshop. At the moment, we're learning something, but I just want to take you inside to see what else is going on. Mm -hmm. And then you cut to the tracking shot. Is that, is that going to work? Yeah. OK, so I'm here at Bangor. I might have some spelling mistakes. Uh, Bangor Uni, um, attending a CADAN video workshop. Um, at the moment, we're doing a presenting exercise. <laughs> With something like that. Um, but I want to take you in to, s to see what else is going on. Yeah? And then we've got, then we'll cut to a handheld tracking shot. And she says, and then, so close up a group. Yeah, that could work. Uh, that's more formal then. You can actually, she's gonna, he or she's gonna have to act the turning off the camera. And I'm gonna use this camera, you're gonna have to say that to cut to the tracking shot, I think, because they're very different shots. So um, let's try out this camera and see what we get. Let's, let's, let's use this camera, something like that, yeah? And then turns the camera towards the Turns the camera, yeah. Turns the camera on and turns it on him, herself. Right, and then we cut to spelling mistakes allowed. <laughs> <laughs> Truns, I know. <laughs> um, we've got a tracking shot that's going to lead us inside, yeah? Oh. Yay! So, so we've got a tracking shot. Tracking shot of attendee walking in. Okay, one of the problems would be that it's going to be very long. So we're going to have to cut that up. Or do something clever. Or speed it up. Speed up. Okay, so that's great. That's really lively. That's nice and lively. 
Then what's that, then what's the next shot? We need something that brings us into the room. Um, the door opening, I guess the tracking right into there. Maybe we can cut then to a shot from inside the room that shows the attendee walking in. Okay, walking in, opens door. Um, inside the room. We could do that, but what the reality of the situation is that we're going to... We're going <laughs> to, we're not going to have that many people. We're going to be, uh, our three groups in a minute, when we finish the script, we're going to go off and shoot this script. Um, we'll be concentrating on doing an interview and we're going to be concentrating on how to shoot that tracking shot and we're going to be concentrating on how to present. So when you walk in, when the attendee presenter walks in, there's going to be a group in here and it, reality is you don't really want to disturb them too much. Maybe we could do some acting. <laughs> what's going to happen is we're going to shoot it in a minute he's going to go and edit it tomorrow and you'll see it okay. you'll see if it works you'll see that's if it works plan. that's so the plan <laughs> like Lizzie don't mess it up too much please <laughs> should we do Monty, pa Monty Python <laughs> walks it the attendee w um, okay so maybe we can have the group waves there's a group in there doing something <laughs> I, I think that when <laughs> well, once we've moved in, we might have to. We might want to maybe a few more action shots of what's going on inside the room. Um, like, so what we're going to try and do is get some different angles. Um, and we talked about the wide. While they're discussing things, while they're doing things. So we talked about having we'd start with a wide group and then go on to a closer, close, a wide shot of the group. Um, does everyone know what I mean by a wide shot? Um, we'll demonstrate properly. With, with, the, with the leg rears, it's kind of everything's wide. But <laughs> um, oh, and then we'd, cl we'd, go to a, we'd cut to a closer shot of, of the group and the presenter turns. That's what we're going to try and do. And when you come into the room, maybe a few extra shots of what's going on with different angles. So um, a wide, you've got a wide, the person coming in, then maybe some, some close-up shots of what's going on. Um, so let's put that in some uh, various action shots of what's going on. Um, Wide and yeah. <laughs> um, and what we should what we should probably do then is because we want to have some more talky in there is probably go to an interview then. What do you think? Or actually, we've got the attendee. What are we going to do with the attendee then? Depends how you edit it. <laughs> I don't think it will be. Um, you could close in on one group and find out what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Or go around the groups and turn. Um, so the attendee who's got the tracking shot um, is going to interview yes. one, of the, um, one of the other attendees, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's have an attendee interview. Now, there are various ways of doing it. You could... Um, in this scenario, because we've already got this attendee with his tracking shot, we might want to include the, the attendee presenter in the shot talking to someone. That's possible. You could also do a more traditional interview setup, which is what we're going to talk, I'm going to talk to you about in a minute. Um, ha uh, having just the interviewee sitting there without the presenter in shot. That's a more traditional setup. We could do both, depends on what you want to do in the group, okay? So, attendee interview, what's the attendee going to say? This is important. You need to go into an interview knowing what you want the person to say, and it's all about the structure of your script. Well, the different groups could be doing different activities. So, one might be learning how to use the camera, and the other might be doing a scripting exercise. Mm -hmm. So, they could just run through what, what they're doing. So, you're gonna, uh, you want them to say, what, am, what are you doing? Yeah. So, that's going to be, oh, I'm... Um, I'm learning how to set up an interview now. Um, do you think we need more information on um, what they're doing at the workshop? You maybe put it into the context of what they hope to get from the course, like why are they there, so then they 
So I'm here. I'm learning to interview, and this is something I can apply to putting films together for my teaching. Brilliant. Let's do that. I'm uh, learning how to set up and that moment. Mm, this is going to be. It's going to be really useful um, when I make videos for my teaching. Yeah. Yeah. Creative video teaching materials. So you want them to say something like that. So you're going to have to design your interview questions to get that result. Yeah, This is very rough, don't worry. <laughs> It'll be put together. We'll see if it works or if it doesn't work. Then what we're going to do, do you think we should um, uh, interview one, uh, the other interview that we need? What's the other interview? The, one of the, um, one of the organisers, yeah? Um, should we have that? We can have that straight after. See, lots of spelling mistakes. What's, what's the organiser going to say? It's a bit small. Is everyone okay with the... Talk about Kadan and stuff they do in relation to this, maybe. Mm -hmm. And how much you're enjoying being in Bangor. Yeah. <laughs> I really love Bangor. Everyone here is so responsive. And um, <laughs> yeah, so how about we have... That's, that's really... That's, the, the group is so great. They're really... How about something like, okay, so we're putting it on to, I don't know, um, something specific. We're, we're, what would I say? What would you say? <laughs> Why are you here today? I'm really hoping that the excellent people here at Bangor University, no, I don't know what I'm going to say. Um, <laughs> Watching this, I would want to know briefly a bit more about what Kadan is, maybe. So, it might be worth putting a sentence about who Kadan is. Mm. Um, yeah, okay. So, Kadan. Um, what you're hoping to achieve mm. is um, the creation of educational media. Mm which is what this uh, workshop is all about. How, um, we want to keep it as brief as possible, just to give a kind of a flavour, don't we? So how about, it's going really well at the moment. The, um, everyone at Bangor University has been really responsive or something like that. Oh, that was fantastic. <laughs> yeah, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Is that being really responsive? Does that sound nice or <laughs> make it nice as possible? Something like that. I've been great. There we go. Um, <laughs> and okay, so we want to wrap. We want to. Oh, we have to wrap it up. We want to wrap it up now um, because we've come up with a few shots, and now it's like, oh no, we're coming up to the end of our video. It's like two minutes. So we need to. What's the end shot going to be? How are we going to wrap it up? We need to bring the attendee, a uh, presenter back in, don't we, really? Yeah, so the attendee would maybe say, well, I think I've got some great shots here. I'm going to go now on and learn how to edit them. Okay. Hopefully, you know. Yeah, cool. Great so, so let's get the, um, do you want to have the presenter holding it again? or um, It depends how you do the interviews, I guess. Mm -hmm. Whether you're going to do the interviews as two people talking to each other or just the traditional one. Um, Maybe we have, hmm, what can we get? Let's just have the attendee presenter um, speaking to camera again. Now, what we'd like is, it would, it would be good if the attendee presenter was in front of the group again, saying, um, yeah, I think I've got some great shots. Let's see if it all comes together in the edit, something like that, yeah? Um, we see if we can get that. We might not be able to get that visual with the group in the background again, but we'll, we'll try.
you could have someone, we don't have the clapperboard, you could have someone jump in and go like that, like that, <laughs> close it off or something. Uh, if you wanted to have something amusing at the end. Uh, it's been a wonderful day, working with, uh, collaborating with a wonderful group of people. <laughs> it's been a wonderful day. Let's see if it's all going to work. In. <laughs> so someone could jump in and say, cut, <laughs> something like that, yeah? I don't know, some jump in and there's cut. Okay, we got a script. It's rough and ready. <laughs> We're going to use that script <laughs> to go and do some exercises um, now. <laughs> but what I want to say is, um, ideally, what you'd do when you've written your script is write a shot list and then write your interview questions. So what is a shot list? Is it like a detail of like what, 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 uh, what kind of picture shots you imagine? Yeah. To shoot, yeah, so you've got, you've got a script and you've got all the shots you want and it's basically taking that, your script, and saying, right, what shots do I need to get to put that script together? Yeah, good. And then, um, and, you, and you list it by time and location. So, right, I can get all of those shots in one location at one time. I'm going to get them all. And it's just a really good way of preparing yourself before you go and shoot to make sure sh you're ticking it, ticking it off, basically. Ah, oh, I know I need to get that wide shot. I really need it for my film. Um, this, is, this is a good way of making videos. You don't necessarily need to do that. If you're going off to Vietnam, you don't know what you're going to see, you just go and shoot. But it's very, very good practice if you do do it because it makes you think, these are the shots that I need to edit with. And that's one of the most important things. When you go and shoot, you have to shoot for the edit. So we'll talk a bit more about that. So you write a shot list and you also write your interview questions, <coughs> which I'll talk a bit about as we weren't able to cover it here, a bit about when I'm doing my my exercise, which is on interviews. You need to write your interview questions and think about uh, as much as possible before you go and talk to someone and get them on camera. Um, just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything out. Yeah, you've got your short list, you've got your interview questions, and then you need to go, go on and do your planning, don't you? How am I going to get this person? Oh, how am I going to get to Bangor <laughs> in this situation? Uh, I need to be there on time. Oh, um, how am I going to get that person to agree to interview? All of these things, this is what a producer does. It's, it's part of the pre production, it's part of the planning. It's just, you know, you'd do it naturally, wouldn't you? Um, yeah, so those are the things I wanted you to think about. I'll give you my very lengthy document to add to your little packs. While we get the kit, um, and it should be coming in now. So what we're going to do first is go into our, can I see a schedule? Uh, we're going into our shooting exercises straight away and then we'll have a break after the first one. So I'm going to randomly put, uh, break you up. How many have we got? One, two. We've only got ten. Yeah, so I think we've got three groups, only one each. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, initially, you you three as a as a group, you three as a group, and you three at the back as a group. Um, and we're missing Alan. Was there someone else who was in here? Colleen. Colleen. Okay. So, um, Alan, do you want to go in John's group? Colleen, go with Manon in Manon's group. Um, you guys come with me first to do interviews. Oh, I'm banging. Banging your mic. Don't bang your mic. It's really bad. You guys come. We're going to do it in this room. Interviews. And I'll stay in this room to do interviews. Um, you three can go with Russ Hello. to do <laughs> presenting. And Russ, really don't <laughs> Russ, don't forget to make it wild. Yeah. <laughs> Think about the script. <laughs> um, so you're going with uh, Russ to do interviews. And where's Matt gone? He's disappeared. He doesn't want to do it anymore. <laughs> and you guys at the back with Colleen are going to go with Matt, and you're going to talk about shooting action shots. And we've, all, we've got breakout rooms, so we've got rooms to go into. Colleen, you're with the group at the back okay. um, to go with Matt, first of all. Um, but he's disappeared. So let he'll me just, back. he'll be back. Let me just give you these. These are all, all everything you've got in your packs, you know, um, really for reference afterwards, um, and if you want during, but um, have a look at them, 
at your leisure. And I'll send like digital copies of these as well if you want them.